Hi, this is Trez Abraham from Life Mastery Solution. And I just came back from an appointment and it was an appointment that was set about a couple of weeks ago. And really it was because the first time I could fit it into my schedule. And a couple of interesting things happened. Um, about a week ago, I got a text, you know, just confirming that we're still on for next week. And I said, yes, planning on being there. And then um, earlier this week, got another text confirming you know, our appointment, you know, Thursday, 3.30, and I said, yes, I'll be there. And then a couple of days ago, another, um, or yesterday, excuse me, another text, um, am I still seeing you tomorrow? Are we still on? And, and, and at this point, I'm kind of getting a little annoyed, and I said, yes, I'll see you tomorrow, 3.30. And then today, about an hour before the appointment, I get another text, you know, or, um, so I'm still meeting you at 3.30, um, and I was kind of, at this point, really annoyed. No offense to the person that I had the appointment with. I, I did share it with him, um, and I just said, yep, I, once I commit to an appointment, I plan on being there. It's set in stone for me. And he texts back, and he's like, oh, I wish everybody was like that. So on the drive over to the appointment, appointment I just you know started to wonder, when did we as a culture get so flaky where you can't even count on something? You know, it's it's that lackadaisical attitude of, I'm going to say something now, but I may not really mean it, and I may change my mind in the future. And not only does that hurt other people, and we know how it affects other people. Well, maybe we don't, because again, society is all about being flaky. And, and, and as he and I spoke about it, he talked about how many people just kind of at the last minute either um, cancel the appointment when the person's already there to meet them, or they don't even bother to say anything. And you, number one, it puts people out because like for me, I'm really busy. And so if I commit to something, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be there on time. And if the person that I'm meeting with is not on time, then that's a waste of my valuable resource. That's time that I could have spent doing my business or spending with my family or enjoying life or, you know, taking care of things that are respond that I'm responsible for. And so it puts me out as a party of this appointment that just gets canceled. And um, it's not respectful of people's times because the productive people, people who are uh, committed to high performance are in charge of their time, which means they put attention, they put care into scheduling out their day. And when you flake on them or when you don't keep your appointments, it really does throw them off and it also causes them to lose, lose trust in you. And so what happens is you tend to start to lose respect and trust from the people that are successful, the people that are committed to growth, the people that could be the great clients, the great relationships in your life, the great friendships, the great uh, colleagues, anything. Um, you start to, in essence, turn them off and scare them away. And then the only people that stick around are the other kind of co-flaky people which is not going to help you to reach your goals. So that being said, I want to really take a minute to talk about the real damage that occurs when we don't stick with our word. You know, I think as a society, we lie to ourselves so much and it diminishes our power and our ability to create what we wanna create. So when I make a commitment, and then I'm not really committed to it, or you know, I, I guess I haven't even really, really made a commitment. If I say I'm gonna do something, but I'm not committed to it, or I'm, I know I'm not gonna follow through, or I think I'm gonna follow through, but if something else comes along, I'm just gonna quit and move over you know, to, to something different, then what happens is we diminish our ability to trust ourselves. So if I can't trust myself to show up on time at an appointment, or I can't trust myself to get to the gym, or I can't trust myself to wake up at six o'clock when I decide I'm gonna wake up at six o'clock, and instead I press the snooze button once or twice, or instead I 
um, leave things to the last minute and then you know cancel out on my friend or my appointment or my family member then I start to my subconscious starts to understand how flaky I am and when I go to set a goal or set a dream and this could be something big like I want to take my business to the next level or I want to work with this type of client or I want to move into my beautiful beach home, then your subconscious like automatically knows you're not gonna follow through. And then you become powerless because we want all of our energy, all of our, our attitude, our beliefs, our thoughts, our values, our emotions, our habits, everything to be pointing towards what we want to accomplish, what we want to create in life. So if I lie to myself in one area, then I said, you know, it's it's like if if you have a if you've ever had someone in your life who's lied to you, they could be telling you the truth, but at that point you've already doubted them. And so you may not ever really believe them again. And so when they do tell you something, you're not, you know you're not, you can't count on them. You know they're probably not going to follow through. So you're not gonna do your part in this exchange with that person that you've already decided is somebody you can't trust. So the same thing that happens with your subconscious is when you lie to yourself, when you say something that is, and you know you're not gonna follow through, then your subconscious starts to doubt you and starts to, um, to, to kind of not really give you everything you need in order to accomplish that goal. It starts to put in the doubt. It starts to put in the fears. It starts to put in the, yeah, right. You know, you can't even wake up. You know, you, you want to create a million dollar business this year. Yeah, right. You can't even wake up at six o'clock. You know, that's just not going to happen. And so why are we going to put any extra effort, extra energy if it's not going to work anyway? And so if you've ever felt like you've hit a wall because you're working so hard, yet you're not making headway, it's because there's part of you that doesn't believe you're going to get there. And it's not that the dream is impossible. It's because you've already created a, a trail of evidence that says that you're not believable. So what we want to do to turn that around is do what I, I love, what Don Miguel Ruiz talks about, is be impeccable with your words. Words have power. Words don't describe reality. Words determine your reality. So when you use words, you have to know how powerful they are and use the words in service of your dream and your goal. So number one, start to be impeccable with your words, meaning if you say something, make sure you mean it. And if you say you're going to do something, number one, don't say it unless you've had the time to think of it through and to decide whether or not I can follow through. And once you've decided you can, then say those words. And once you say those words, make sure your actions follow it. And when you do that, when you start to be impeccable with your words, you start to be very careful with your words. Only promise things that you're willing to, to uh, follow through on. And these are promises to other people, promises to yourself. These are goals you're setting. Everything around what you're starting to, how you're starting to live your life, how you're starting to show up. So when I am impeccable with my words and I say I'm going to wake up at six o'clock as soon as that alarm bell rings and I'm up, then all of a sudden I got a little bit of an accomplishment because I get to feel good about myself and I get to feel like, okay, I, I just did something that I said I was going to do. And then when I set another goal, like I'm going to go to the gym three times a week <clears throat> and I make sure come hell or high water, I get to the gym three times a week, even if it's difficult, even if it's challenging, even if I'm tired, I committed to it and I do it. All of a sudden your subconscious is like, oh, she really means business. And you start to create this ability to manifest with ease because now your words match your actions and with that alignment your words match your actions so your subconscious gets to now is is okay getting behind you to push you forward and then when you say i'm going to create a million dollar business this year your subconscious is like whoa wow she means business because she wouldn't say it if she isn't going if she isn't going to make it happen 
And so your subconscious is like, all right, let's get to work. Let's find the resources. Let's find the people. Let's, let's give her energy to create this, to do what needs to happen to manifest that goal. Because if she said it, it's going to happen. So I invite you to pay attention to the words you're using every day. What are you saying to yourself? What are you saying to other people? What commitments are you making? What commitments are you following through on? And what commitments are you not following through on? And start to make less commitments and make sure when you do make those commitments that they are 100% in alignment with what you plan to do. And come hell or high water, you're going to get up and get it done. And notice how much more powerful you feel and how much more in control you feel of your life. And when you feel in control of your life, when you feel powerful in your life, then you can set some big dreams and big goals and they will happen because you will make them happen. So I hope you love this. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd love to learn more about or what you'd love for me to share. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.